All right guys, Chris here with Rack Up and Go, and today I've been called in on special assignment to replace four AC units that have been complained about low cooling performance and also some of them not working. And so the customer's been inspired by our test results video, and they're actually gonna be replacing those units with this Velet 2000R. So this video, we're gonna be going over how to swap those units. Fortunately, we're going 12 volt to 12 volt. The wiring's already done, so it should be a pretty easy install. So let's jump into it. All right guys, so we got the valet unit here. Here's the main unit. Right here we've got our interior trim bezel. These are gonna be our installation bars. And since we are just swapping one unit for one unit, um, this wiring harness that comes with the unit, we're actually not gonna be using that, so we'll set that aside. Got various cable ties here for cable organization. Some foam bumpers. We've got our threaded rod and hardware in this bag. The remote and then the roof gasket. Now the roof gasket, we do already have one up there, so we're just gonna inspect it. We'll check everything out, see how it looks, and if it's good to go, we actually won't even need this as well, so. To do this swap over, we've got some crimping tools, power crimper here, one of my favorites, utility knife, some masking tape. We've got an Allen key here for removing the old unit, some heat shrink, some butt splices to wire in the new unit. We've got our wire cutters to cut out the old unit. Couple sockets here, torch for the heat shrink, and then just an open end box wrench. And that's pretty much it. This is a relatively simple install since we're swapping a 12 volt unit for another 12 volt unit. They both use a 14 by 14 opening. So this unit is literally just going to drop right in once we get the old one pulled out. So let's start to work on removing that old unit and we'll move over to the van. All right, so this is the unit that we're gonna be replacing. We've got our interior air plenum here. We've got Phillips head screws. We'll start by removing those and pulling this panel down and disconnecting the control board. Yeah. All right guys, so we got the interior bezel air plenum off. We've got our wires hanging here. Now you can see we have our installation bars up inside and then these are our bolts that are securing the unit to the roof. These are gonna come out next. And then just being careful here, we've got our temperature sensor. This is attached to the installation bar. Um, just being careful if we wanna salvage this unit or for parts or anything, not to damage that. And then this divider will also pull this out as well. And then once these are removed, we'll be able to pull the entire unit right off the roof. Check out that gasket and start prepping to get the new unit placed on. All right guys, so we got our bolts loosened up here, meaning the unit is no longer attached to the vehicle. We're gonna move up on top of the roof now and start pulling this off and getting our wiring disconnected so that we can get that area prepped for the new unit coming down. All right, so for this install, there's this box. It's essentially an air plenum that's kind of created to keep the air from escaping like inside the cavity that's between the finished ceiling and the roof. So this is actually gonna come out for the new unit because the new unit actually has an air plenum that comes down through the roof. Um, so we actually do not need any of this boxing or framing around here. So this is also gonna come out and we'll actually be able to get a good look at our gasket seal up in here. So you can see this is going all the way up to the roof right now and it's kind of blocking our, our access. So this is all gonna get pulled out the new unit will drop in, its air plenum will come down through, and then we'll have a trim ring that actually comes around. You can see where the old air plenum, we actually screw into the nice finished ceiling in here. One of the benefits of the new unit is it actually has threaded ports in these installation bars, so that unit will actually make no new holes in our finished ceiling and we'll just install using uh, machine screws right into this bar. So pretty nice clean install. All right, yeah. this is our kind of makeshift air distribution box built really well, but we don't need this. And on new installs for the Vela 2000R, we won't have to build a box like this. It can just be the 14 by 14 opening and it'll drop down, down in. So a little bit of a challenge getting this out, but I think we're doing well now. So now we can remove these installation bars. We've got our wiring coming up through this interstitial space in the roof here. We'll be able to clip that and that's what we're gonna crimp right here. Our new wire harness on for the Velet. 
and then drop it on. So let's move up on top. We'll pull the unit off, clip those wires, and start bringing the new Velet 2000R onto the roof. You can see where the gasket's peeling up here. Not really attached anymore. We have our sealant on the front, which is kind of holding this thing down, which is good, but I think we've got an opportunity here to replace this gasket with the Velet gasket, which fits exactly on our adapter bracket down below here. <coughs> those wires lined up so that's better bring the unit down like positioning of that All right, so we got our unit loaded in here. We've got our installation bars front and rear. They're running passenger to driver side. And we've got our bolts started. A little help of a long extension here. So that went up and we got those starting to thread on. And so we're just kind of gonna evenly tighten all of these down until we get a pretty good squish in our gasket. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Instead of a picture of like a turbo spooling up, we have a picture of a bodybuilder like this on the screen to indicate turbo. <laughs> nice. All right guys, we've got the unit installed. Everything's tightened down. The last piece is gonna be this trim bezel, which comes with about two inch long bolts. They're M5 by 0.8 thread pitch. It's gonna thread right into pre-threaded holes in the installation bars. So this is gonna be our last piece. We're currently sourcing bolts. So we'll just set that aside for now. Power the unit on. We are set for 61 degrees Fahrenheit in turbo mode, and it should start ramping up slowly. So the compressor is going to gradually increase its power consumption rather than kicking on like a traditional shore power style AC. You can already start to feel cool air coming out of it. Now, if you first start your unit, it'll actually be in Celsius. And to change that, you're gonna press and hold the mode button and the temperature down button while the unit's off. And then you'll power it back on and everything should be in degrees Fahrenheit. There's also the Velet app that you can download on your phone. And that's gonna look like this. And it's connecting over Bluetooth. You can see we're currently in turbo. All right guys, so that wraps up our install of this Velet 2000R, replacing the old unit. So one of the reasons we chose this unit is it does fit into the same 14 by 14 opening. It's also a 12 volt unit, which replaced the previous 12 volt unit. The wiring's already there, already existing, so it was a pretty easy swap. Um, another nice thing about this unit is it does have the Bluetooth app in which you can control it from your phone. The range is actually quite impressive. We have two units in the shop here. Remember I said we were replacing four units, so this is actually the second unit we're doing. And from about, I'd say, 75 feet away, we were still able to control the Bluetooth on the other unit and in addition to this one. So. Right now we've got it scaled back, low fan speed, just so you can hear me over the mic, but it is a pretty quiet unit. So compared to the last unit that had a lot of vibration noise on the roof from the compressor, this one does have a rotary compressor, very well isolated from the roof. It's, when it's running even on turbo mode, it's making very, very little noise inside here. I think the customer is gonna be extremely happy with this unit, especially based on the test results from the heat chamber testing that we did that showed that this unit punches way above its cost. All right, guys, that completes the install on this Velet 2000R, replacing the former unit. If you have any questions, please contact us at customercare at rackupgo.com or 888-929-3149. We'll be happy to walk you through how to get this installed into your space if you're looking to replace a unit that you're not happy with. And remember, life's an adventure, rack up and go.